Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Lake Plays City Skylines. And at the beginning of this episode, I want to uh, talk to you a little bit about the previous few episodes. Um, I want to apologize for the terrible quality of those those episodes. Uh, they just felt like they were totally rambling. I didn't know what I was doing. I was unprepared. Um, and I, I put the episodes together anyway, uh, and really probably shouldn't have, because uh, the quality really was not up to, um, up to my standards, and I don't think it was probably very entertaining for anybody to watch anyway. Uh, so I've done a bunch of work this weekend, um, trying to get to know this game a little bit better, uh, particularly with the traffic issues, um, just just uh, experimenting and doing a little bit of research and I think uh, that I have a better idea of, of kind of how to uh, get this game to work properly for us. And as you can see, uh, I've done a little bit of relaying out of this, uh, this zone over here, this district. Um, and because I do a lot of the work paused so I don't screw things up too bad, uh, I had to build around this burning building because you can't demolish burning buildings. So anyway, that's a little weirdness that will get fixed later. Uh, but this whole interchange here, I've rearranged to be a nice roundabout. And the, the main thing that I discovered in doing my research and testing is that the highways create intersections with no stoplights. And that is probably the number one reason to uh, keep using these instead of uh, other things, uh, other road types for our main arteries. Uh, so you can see here we have, granted it, it is a weird intersection for a highway. Um, normally you wouldn't, at least in my part of the world, have a right angle in a highway. Uh, but it creates an intersection with no stoplights, which means traffic can flow freely through that. It can flow freely through the roundabout. Uh, and should should uh, do a lot better for our city. Uh, so this zone I've taken, or this district here, I've taken uh, advantage of that and routed our high-speed one-way highway traffic uh, into the district in two two ways, basically. This uh, this direction here we come up this way, and then. Uh, we do this right angle this direction and we have these spurs that come off of it every so often into our, our area. And then the return traffic flows into the roundabout here and that has got this kind of ring one way that comes all the way around the district. And I should make sure that all my arrows are in the right direction. They are except this section is not actually it's not actually a one way, is it? Let's make sure that oh, we got to do an upgrade. Oh no, it's that. It was that little bit. Okay, the rest of it looks okay. Um, and we have uh, we have this artery here that is a one way coming in. So that's the the exit routes uh, through this area. Then we have these two uh, north-south avenues that uh, that carry a little bit more traffic, look a little bit nicer, and then just regular roads uh, in between. So uh, let's see here, and I did connect it up to to this clover leaf, which is a terrible uh, a terrible connection here, but we'll fix that later on as we redo some of this and we learn from this area here. So I did start putting the services in. We have a couple of clinics, a couple of crematoriums, which look like they mostly mostly cover the area. Probably if I put another one in over here, that might be good. Um, or even down here on this end of things, probably be good. We're probably gonna need one up here somewhere as well. So why don't I, I'm gonna throw one in here right off the bat, just to make sure our coverage is good. Uh, fire, we're fairly well covered, and police 
fairly well covered, although this bit up here and this bit down here, we're gonna have to rearrange a little bit. So um, maybe for now I will put, put a police station there. Uh, but we will keep an eye on that and adjust it as needed. Okay, and that is connected there. I'm just uh, checking our our electrical connections here. There we go. Oops, and you can actually use the page up, page down on electrical stuff as well, which is kind of cool. All right, so this ought to grow now, and I think we are ready to let it let it run. Uh, everything has water. Uh, power is brought to the area, although it's not uh, it's not powered yet. And I think our services are good. So let's turn this on and let this run a bit, and we should see uh, some issues. We are losing a lot of population, which is unfortunate. But we did I did bulldoze all of this. Uh, but we still have a positive budget, just barely. Oh, now we're now we are in the red. Uh, we do have some people building. Power is not being brought in sufficiently yet, so let's pause and maybe bring in some back this way. Should be able to hop over there, and then uh, bring this down and across. And okay, that should connect up. So I'll bring power to that bit. And let this run again. And we should see that come online in a second here. There we go. Good. Okay, so we do have some stuff starting to be built, which is great. And let's, uh, let's take a look at our traffic. Oops, traffic map. This, as you can see, this is a huge mess, and we have to totally rethink this in the same way that we're rethinking this, I believe. Um, and this roundabout is very clogged, but I think this is a result of a lot of this. So we're getting... Yeah, we're getting backed up here, which is getting backed up into here uh, this is this is pretty bad and actually if I just delete that that should help a bit uh, although it'll just move the, the badness down there but anyway that's this is gonna be the next probably big traffic thing that we have to deal with so, okay, our budget's back in the green. That is good. Population is growing again. That is good. So let's see what's happening over here. All right, everything's moving in. Uh, I did keep the university over here, just relocated it. Uh, we have a high school and a park and an elementary school over on this side, as well as a very similar configuration on this block here. Um, and we do have room for a little 1x4 park on either side of the schools in both of these areas, which uh, would be kind of nice if we can find a nice 1x4 park in the Steam Workshop. So, let's see. And did this thing burn down? Okay, it did. So we can, we can get that fixed a little bit. Uh, let's check power. Okay, we've got enough power seated in this area now that uh, we should be good to go. Uh, let's check our land value. So we're getting some nice land value already there, which is a great sign. Uh, this is all still doing pretty good. Uh, one other area that I did kind of in between episodes when I was experimenting with stuff is this over here. And this is um, commercial and residential. But I thought I'd just kind of fill in this, this little area of land and, and see how that would work. What do we have here in elementary school? Uh, and that filled in pretty nice, and traffic is not too bad over here. Uh, although we have a little bit of a, one of these short roads, you know, two intersections are right next to each other, which always causes problems. Uh, and that's something we might have to look out for over here, 
there are a couple of sections, very very short sections of road here and here, for example. Um, that's probably the worst one that I see. The rest of them are at least one block, you know, one full segment. So there's that. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to empty out the the cemetery here, and it looks like these guys are are they connecting? They are okay. They can get in and out. So that is getting emptied out and sent to the crematorium. And we may just get rid of cemeteries completely from the city. Uh, you know, they're like the oops, like the landfills up here. They just fill up, and then they're a huge pain to get rid of later. And if we have the incinerators and we have the crematoriums, uh, I think that's an overall better solution. Um, and I don't know if we saw this bit in last episode, but this was an early experiment using the highways, uh, and it's this is also a mess. This um, is not how we want to do this uh, overall, but you know it it's better than it was at least. So okay, so our demand is still fairly low. Let's speed things up here a bit and watch this develop, and just keep an eye on it. Uh, oops. We can see our property values are actually going up. They're doing very nicely. Uh, I heard somebody say that parks are not good for commercial. So this park here in between the schools and this park over here might be issues for the land value of these industrial and commercial areas. I'm not entirely sure how that works yet, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that and see what happens. But. All right, this is developing nicely. Let's check our power. We still have plenty of power and plenty of water, which is great. Speaking of water, uh, I did build a couple of water treatment plants. And as you can see, the pollution being released from these things is far less severe than that being released from this nasty thing here. It's so gross. Uh, you know, the water coming out of these looks mostly as gross, I guess. So it's unfortunate there isn't a better water treatment and water system in the game because this is this is not what happens in uh, at least modern cities, you know. We have much better ways of, of purifying water. But anyway. Alright, so I think I'm going to break here and we'll come back when this is filled in a little bit and check it out. All right, here's a little experiment in uh, flying car chains. All right, ready? Here we go. <laughs> okay, that was that was a lot weirder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Well, let me show you where we're at here. This is what used to be that big four-leaf clover interchange. Uh, so I've straightened these roads out, comes up to another roundabout here, and uh, we are going to need to do a couple of bypass uh, roads, I think. Uh, probably do a bypass uh, over in here, um, and we'll just uh, we'll just keep an eye on this and see uh, bypass roads. I guess a slip road maybe is is a better better term for it. Yikes, and we've got we've got an emergency vehicle police car on there. This does not seem to have improved this situation. Um, I think it's still this is the this is the issue. Um, it's our it's this main bulk of the city here and the traffic issues that that's causing. So let's actually pull up our traffic map. Uh, so both of these roundabouts are pretty yuck. Uh, we also have a bunch of traffic merging in down in this direction, uh, which we probably don't need. Um, you know, let's, let's get rid of that one. It's not going to make a huge difference. So there weren't a lot of cars coming anyway. Uh, looks like a lot of this traffic is just... Let's see. Let's watch where this traffic is going. These guys are all backed up. 
some of this might be due to the, the road getting uh, destroyed and rebuilt. Some of this might just have to work itself out. So I see a lot of people, well, yeah, we got people coming in and trying to get into the left lane. So these people, some of them are peeling off to the west, some of them are going south. So yeah, I think we need, I think we need a couple of slip roads just to make that a bit smoother. Uh, we have tons of traffic coming in and out of um, in and out of our industrial zone as well as a lot of traffic just coming into the city on this road uh, and all of that is just piling up uh, so this this definitely needs to be reworked uh, but let's take a look here at this section traffic is looking pretty good in this area um, it's not too bad actually it's it's green everywhere except this bit here so let's take a closer look at that um, and let's just see what's going on now it is a stoplight so that's gonna gonna automatically cause slowdowns um, you know what traffic is moving it's moving through it nicely Oh, we have a small amount of backup here because of this stoplight, um, and this is this is bad here. This little tiny intersection. So we might want to rethink this junction here <clears throat> to get rid of that. I mean, we've got one, two, three, four intersections in a very small amount of space. So. You guys hear all that upgrading? I think that's what all those those ding noises are, is the upgrades. Uh, I see a couple of garbage icons, which is a problem. Uh, so I just want to see if... So I mean, garbage is able to get over here. Uh, if we keep garbage up in this industrial zone, we might want to create a, a road that actually crosses the highway and comes over into this zone just to make that a little bit easier. Uh, that would be a good idea. We need some more incinerators anyway, it looks like, so... Uh, and I don't want to mix them in over here for obvious reasons. But let's check our land value. Oh, wow. This is this is really getting nice quickly. It took a long time for this area over here to start getting green. And this is just happening right away. So that is an excellent sign. We do have a house on fire, our building on fire. Uh, but our fire coverage is good it looks like um, those those offices up in that upper edge aren't covered quite so great so we may want a third fire station or maybe just look at relocating uh, to get a little bit better coverage there but this is filled in really nicely so I am happy with the way this has gone so far uh, a lot of upgrading going on uh, if we look at levels can we look at levels in here somewhere what's like connections leisure somewhere I thought oh yes this guy isn't levels there we go so we're looking for the darkest colors so we've got a level working on level five there in our residential uh, we actually have a commercial level three and a bunch that are working on level three which is great uh, offices have three levels and we are looks like we're on level two for most of them working on level three so this is excellent they're just upgrading like crazy so Great. This is this is working out so much better than uh, what we were doing before. I'm really happy with uh, with that little bit of extra time that I spent to uh, you know just get to get to know the game a little bit better and experiment and play. Uh, that was really lacking in my previous videos. And again, I just want to apologize for uh, anybody who got bogged down in that awful awful mess that was the last couple of of uh, episodes. But overall, happiness is still looking pretty good. Commercial is a little bit low, but office and industrial is great. Residential is still pretty good. Overall health of the city is looking pretty good. Uh, I think we're I think we're doing well. Uh, noise pollution is a bit of a problem. 
uh, but we can we can fix up some of these highways with the, the sound barriers so that'll help uh, something that we need to really work on is public transport um, but I think I'm gonna leave that alone until we have uh, more of these areas converted to this style uh, this is almost ready to to start adding that in I think um, but I want to figure out what to do near the, the lake edge here. I still kind of want this uh, low density residential with the walking path uh, as the frontage here. Uh, so we'll just have to figure out how to connect that up in a, in a reasonable way. And let's check our cemetery. It is finally empty. So I think we may just want to just destroy it. That seems like kind of a waste. Um, for now, I'm just going to move it. I'm going to plop it down over here, and I'm going to turn it off. Oops, turn it off. So we can we can reuse it without having to buy it again uh, if we want to, but it's out of the way here then. So, excellent. That's working out well. Uh, the traffic here is still kind of a nightmare, uh, as is here. But I'm going to work on this one here, maybe put in some slip roads, and uh, show you what I come up with. Well, it looks like we are out of time for today, but I just wanted to show you the zaniest, weirdest interchange ever. Well, not really. It's just two slip roads, but they're crazy, ugly, bizarre slip roads. Um, but at the beginning of next episode, you will see uh, the, the result of uh, some more work on this thing. Uh, I think the, the main issue is that with these types of roundabouts, you don't have... Um, you want the through traffic to be able to skip the roundabout. The roundabout should really be only to redirect uh, into a different direction. So I will think about that, how we're going to do this, and rearrange that a bit. And uh, yikes, this whole uh, industrial area will definitely need to be looked at. But uh, anyway, I hope that this episode was a lot better than the previous ones, more enjoyable, more things happening, uh, and I hopefully sounded more like I knew what I was talking about. Uh, so anyway, if you liked it and uh, you did in fact think that it was better and I should uh, keep doing what I'm doing uh, to improve, please leave a like. It's always appreciated. That just uh, helps me continue along. And uh, if uh, you have any comments or hints or suggestions, I would love to hear them as well. And uh, if you haven't already, you can subscribe to my channel to keep up with everything else that I do in addition to Cities Skylines. So until next time, everybody have a great day, and I'll see you then.